Dear friends, during years like this one, when the first night of Hanukkah is November 28th, people often say, Hanukkah sure comes early this year. In fact, in the Jewish calendar, Hanukkah comes when it always comes, on the 25th day of the month of Kislev. <laughs> Since the Jewish calendar is based on the moon, and many of the Jewish festivals are connected to certain seasons, that is, they are connected to the cycle of the sun, our people figured out a complex but quite brilliant way to coordinate these two very different cycles. To be more specific, in the solar calendar months, there are 30 or 31 days, except of course, February, the lunar months have 29 or 30 days, generally. So the lunar year has approximately 354 days. Stay with me. We know that the solar year has 365 days. This leaves an 11 day difference between one solar year and one lunar year. So if this Jewish calendar strictly followed the moon, every year we would lose about 11 days relative to the solar year. Now, the Muslims follow a lunar calendar irrespective of the solar cycle, and all of their holidays migrate around the solar year. However, our festivals have an essential connection to the solar year. Passover is a spring festival that was originally connected to the early barley harvest in ancient Israel. Hanukkah is a festival of light that comes at the darkest time of the year, and Sukkot is a fall festival that was connected to the final harvest of the year. It would simply not work to have these holidays moving around the solar year. It is unimaginable that every few years Passover would be in the winter, Hanukkah would be in the fall, and the high holidays would be in the early summer. It would undercut the meaning of the holidays. So, five times every 19 year cycle, we keep the lunar and solar calendars in sync by adding a leap month, an additional month of Adar. So, for a number of years, the holidays seem to be getting earlier and earlier in the solar year until. We add the additional Hebrew month and the calendar resets and all the holidays come much later relative to the solar cycle. While we think of Hanukkah as a December holiday, periodically Hanukkah begins at the end of November, like it does this year. In 2022, we will add an additional month of Adar, which will begin in early March. And so this 13 month year, the year with the leap month, will push back all of the holidays relative to the solar calendar. Next year, Hanukkah will begin on December 18th and go through the December 26th. And in 2024, Hanukkah will begin on December 25th and go through January 2nd. Every year after that, it'll get earlier and earlier and earlier until the leap month is once again added. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too confusing. Since Hanukkah is three weeks away, I'd like to sh begin sharing some thoughts about how to make Hanukkah more than just about gift giving, which is a lovely tradition, but often distorts the sweet spiritual dimensions of Hanukkah. In my own family growing up, one of the great delights of Hanukkah was that every night, a different person in the family got to give gifts. That was always the most special night of Hanukkah for my two brothers and sister and I. First, we would sing the blessings, light the Hanukkah candles. Everyone had their own menorah, so the house was a blaze in light. Then we would continue singing Hanukkah songs. We would dance around the living room in a blur of joyful activity. Only then, the person who was gift-giving that night 
would get to present all the gifts they had specially picked out for every other person in the family. In this way, my parents subtly shifted the focus from receiving gifts to the honor of giving gifts. We were still delighted to receive the gifts, but the greatest joy was in giving. Another family tradition that might speak to some people in our community was our storytelling tradition. We were asked to think of a family story that includes a miracle or something that happened that was very special to our family and would help our the members of our family feel and remember how blessed we truly were. So this year, would you consider telling a special family story that could be understood as miraculous around the time you light the Hanukkah candles, maybe right after you light the candles? Would you consider inviting guests over for the candle lighting and invite them to tell a special family story of their own that makes them feel blessed? Over the next few weeks, I will be sharing more ideas with our community that might help make our Hanukkah celebrations more meaningful and filled with joy. Stay safe and be well. Shalom uvracha, peace and blessings.